everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the CM Storm Quick Fire Rapid Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And as you can see on the preview under here in the front of the box that it is a 10 keyless keyboard. It doesn't have the numpad on the right side. Thus it is smaller and of course portable and um, suitable for LAN gaming. And this one is using the Cherry MX Blue Mechanical Switch. It uses a this uh, Cherry MX Blue is essentially a low resistance, low feedback with a clicky sound. And uh, this all the Quickfire Rapid also comes in a Quickfire in a Cherry MX Red version, which is only available through the CM Storm, uh, rather the Cooler Master Store page online. And if you're in the Asia Pacific region, you can also get the black and the brown switch version of the Quickfire Rapid. Now here, uh, let's flip it to the back, see some of the features for quick this particular quick fire rapid keyboard as mentioned Cherry MX switches you have the N key roll over on in PS2 mode uh, extra keycaps uh, for the WAS, AS, WASD cluster and the um, there's two cooler master replacement keycaps here most likely for the um, Windows key and it also has a removable braided USB cable and uh, you can route it in either uh, left, right, or in the back, so that is very flexible. So, a list of more features here on the right uh, laser mark keycaps, uh, anti ghosting, 1000 megahertz, 1 ms response time USB mode, and multimedia shortcut keys. Yeah, let's uh, start opening the Quickfire Rapid packaging now and see what the Quickfire Rapid keyboard looks like. And here is a user's guide. Just shows you the cherry, uh, the cherry red switch is actually in black color, but this is cherry blue, black and brown. Uh, uses a has a silver color, and shows you what the list of the package contents are in this box. And this one comes with a two-year limited manufacturer's warranty. This is essentially a fold up. Just a quick guide on how to pull out the keycap, and then this is the USB to PS2 converter adapter that included and uh, let's try to remove the key so here, right here are the other compartments here on the top there are you know, the USB cable just grab the knife here and As mentioned, as you can see, it is braided, and uh, one end is a standard uh, USB size, while the other one is a mini USB uh, connector, and they're both uh, gold plated. And here you have the removable keycaps and a keycap puller. And let's pull out the Quickfire Rapid keyboard itself. Make sure nothing is in the box. Don't forget anything. And the Quickfire Rapid keyboard is in this uh, protective covering. And basically, a styrofoam sheet. And you start to hear the clicking already. And uh, here we are. It's quite compact. And let me just grab the measuring tape and measure how long it is. This just over 14 inches in length. As for the height, it is just uh, just below 5.5 inches. So that is very portable and compact. And as mentioned, uh, this one is essentially uh, a 10 keyless, uh, similar to the Philco uh, mechanical keyboards, but the CM Storm um, Quickfire Rapid is much more affordable. It also comes with these multimedia keys here on top. See the layout. Uh, one thing I love about it is that it's standard layout. Uh, there are other mechanical keyboards offered by other manufacturers, but the uh, this 10 keyless layout forgoes the numpad, but uh, the rest of the layout is standard, including the function key being here on the right side rather than here on the left side. Of course, that is a matter of preference, but uh, preferably I would rather have the function key on the right side since I am uh, right-handed. And uh, what usually is I, I use more of the window shortcuts with my left hand than with my right hand. Plus. Uh, you can only always disable the Windows key here and we're using the function F9. So uh, 
that's not really a problem if you're a gamer and you want to disable the Windows key when you're gaming and you want to eliminate that, that option. But And you also have the multimedia keys. You have the uh, here in the top for multi multimedia controls and volume controls. Uh, it comes in very handy. And uh, let me just flip it to the back for a quick second. Show you the... Uh, actually, there's uh, these feet that elevate it. So if you want to have a little bit more elevation when you're playing. Also the USB, uh, it's plugged in right there and you can route it in any direction you want, depending on your desk. Some, some desks get crowded. Of course you want to, if, if you don't have a space here in the, at the back, you can just route it here on the side. So that comes in very, very handy. And uh, if you're not familiar with the cherry blue switches, it basically, uh, let me just pull it out so you can sh I can demonstrate it for you. Using the keycap puller. And that's what it looks like underneath. And these are laser laser uh, engraved, so you won't really uh, erode it as quickly as you would a just a regular keyboard. Since most of those are just... Uh, um, Stickers are pad printed and these ones are engraved. Takes it will take a long time to uh, wear those out. You see here the cherry blue switch. It doesn't really click as loud as other people believe, but uh, you don't need the the good thing about these uh, mechanical keyboards. You don't need to bottom it out. You hear that clicky sound, and it's not really the loudest. The loudest is actually the. Um, I mean, just uh, I have here my IBM Model M here on my right side. And I'm pretty sure you can hear that even though it's about, about a meter away. And, uh, and then the blues are perfect for uh, people who are uh, a good compromise, people who, who type a lot and want a mechanical uh, keyboard feel. The actuation is about, uh, I believe, 50 grams and uh, the peak for 60 grams. So uh, it's not as heavy as the Cherry MX Blacks, which requires 60 grams. And it's not as sensitive as the Cherry MX Red which is, I believe, 45, the Cherry Mix Browns as well. Now, the, now depending on the, uh, the, the since this is a, essentially a fill, you could probably buy uh, the replacement, uh, replacement keycaps, similar to uh, other uh, mechanical keyboards. You can order them if you're not, uh, if, you're, if you don't like the lettering, especially there's uh, one thing, the only thing actually I don't like about it is that uh, they seem to went crazy with putting in all these CM Storm logos everywhere. But other than that, I mean, it's, it looks great. Uh, you can always replace the keycaps anyway. And uh, the build is very heavy. And um, if uh, it's hard to see uh, in the video, but the body here, is, it feels like there's a little um, little covering of rubber for protection of the, on the body, but not on the keycaps, just on the body. You can feel it, and uh, it looks very attractive. Uh, it looks better than the, than the photo suggested. Actually, it's a very solid build. You can see the height there. So uh, now I'm doing. I'm going to plug this into my system, and uh, you can read the rest of the review at www.hitechlegion.com and uh, see what my react my uh, my opinion is on this Cherry M uh, Cherry MX Blue Quick Fire Rapid Mechanical Gaming Keyboard and. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash hitechlegion or if you want if you have comments and suggestions go to our Facebook page at HTL Reviews or just type it in Facebook or go to Facebook.com and just start start typing high tech legion. Alright thanks for watching and see you next time.